Indeed, now a special ceremony took place earlier today to honour a man who's known as the Pied Piper of Collyhurst. Boxing trainer Brian Hughes founded the Collyhurst Lads Club in Manchester back in 1964 and has devoted his life to helping young people in the local community. And today it was the community's turn to thank him, as a road was named in his honour. Paul Crone joined proud guests and the man himself. At where else but Brian Hughes close? A true sign of boxing trainer Brian Hughes' respect within the Collyhurst community in Manchester. This afternoon, over 200 fans, friends and family were ringside to see the unveiling of Brian Hughes' close. Brian founded the Collyhurst Lads Club in 1964, and since then, thousands of young people have Brian to thank for a career in boxing and a burning sense of pride in their neighbourhood. Now with dementia, Brian may not have been fully able to take on board today's ceremony, but his family were rightly proud. I don't think we expected there would be like 200 plus people there for something like this, but we're really proud. I know Dad would be absolutely made up by it. Well, I was born and bred in Collius during the war years, 1940. This 1984 student documentary profiled Collyhurst Boxing Club's coach, a certain Mr Brian Hughes. Firstly, you treat them as human beings. You make them feel important. If they want to be boxers, you make them feel that they can go on to become a world champion. There's four things that matter in uh, my dad's life. Uh, one is his family, two is boxing, three is Manchester United and four is uh, his Colliest. Everywhere he went around the world, he insisted that his boxers came out to the famous folks on Colliest Road. And when Brian was awarded the MBE in 2000, he was as modest as ever. You don't only train the body, we train the minds in here as well. Everyone's taught to think. Everyone's not the same. I mean, I'm as thick as two short planks, but we're all good at something. When Manchester City Council first looked into the possibility of naming a road after Brian, over 6,000 local people signed a petition in favour of the idea. After that, Brian Hughes Close was simply a foregone conclusion. He taught himself to read and write, which was a great tribute. I mean, he came from that era, the war years, where actually it was very difficult. And, uh, but he taught himself to read and write and actually wrote a number of books on great Manchester legends, from boxers, from footballers. He, he loved looking into the history of things, particularly in this area. So this actually means more than anybody could even imagine to him. You've got to be 24 hours a day for him. You've got to be there if he gets in trouble. But you, you've got to open pray that the boxer understands what you're giving up for him. The man who's proud to have had such a social impact on his community will now be long remembered. Paul Crone, ITV News, Brian Hughes Close, Manchester. Yeah, congratulations to Brian and to his family as well.